hi guys, I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to Epic Local Routes number one. This is an absolute party. Full of ups, full of downs, full of slow techie single track, flat out single track. And this isn't a wimpy ride. There's a good few miles in this one. So uh, no need to drive hours in the car to find a nice long loop. This one has it all, trust me. This has an easy loop and a slightly difficult one and they are both absolutely brilliant. I hope this encourages you guys to try them. Hope you enjoy. So parking at Pint Mine Og okay. car park is the obvious place to go. But I don't follow the forestry road up to the mountain. I prefer to take the road straight up and you eventually come to this bridleway. This is the most direct way to the top. Um, it's not insanely steep, but it does go on for quite some time. It, it's got to be at least two miles in length. Um, gradient stays practically the same until you get to the very end. There's a, a very, very steep hiker bike section. Once you reach this gate, you are roughly halfway up the climb. It's a really good spot to catch your breath, spectacular views. Note to the left where my bike is here, we will actually be coming back through here on the way back round. Now that you've made it to the top, you are now at the highest point in Pembrokeshire, which is Foylecombe Kerwin. And this is the start of your descent. You can think of this section as a warm-up. It's pretty rutted out, quite wet in places, lots of holes to watch out for. But this ride gets better and better the further on you go. Here we get to our first split. Both routes bring you out at exactly the same place. The left hand side is a faster, smoother, flowier run. The right hand side which I've taken here is way more technical, gets really steep in places, drop offs, huge hidden holes, plenty of stuff for a novice to get wrong. So if you do go down this way, take care, especially towards the bottom. In conditions where it's quite wet, this can be quite a slog, so in the drier months I would recommend doing this one. On the wetter days, I would seriously recommend taking the left route. hidden holes on this one guys so you have to be very aware and the camera probably makes it look flat but this is pretty steep after you do the uh, rutted out descent and you come over there through the kissing gates you um, come out onto this kind of flat and slightly downhill in places a little traverse to get to the peak right in front of us that is the destination we're heading but remember, both routes bring you out practically in the same spot. Um, if you were to take the left route before I came down the last track, the path is probably about 50 feet to the left of where I am now. But both bring you out at the same point. And once you get to the summit in front of you, it's time to soak up some views before some absolute brilliant descending. Things get very good from this point onwards, guys. And now we 
start the descent and this one is an absolute beaut. You can seriously let rip down this. This is a really, really fast descent. My forks aren't quite up for the job, but if you have a decent bike, I cannot stress enough, you can seriously haul some ass down here. camera does no justice whatsoever for this piece as it flattens it out but this is a seriously fun piece full of ups and downs and you know, twists and turns. This is absolutely really, brilliant. Really as you continue along on the track you will notice this rock outcrop on your right hand side there'll be a track there you want to be taking that and this section is really cool. Um, some slow bike skills are needed here lots of rocks to get over and then it opens out with some nice flowy single track absolutely brilliant Again, staying on, things turn a little bit wet and then you get back onto this single track which is an absolutely lovely little section. Um, when the wind is up, it might not be so lovely, but 9 times out of 10 you're actually quite sheltered by here. As you get to the end of the trail there is a massive climb in front of you but fear not we are not going up this today in fact we are taking a trail to the right hand side of it and this leads on to as my opinion some of the best riding up on the Preseli amazing single track tech some fast bits some slow bits this is a really good section guys This is what it's about guys. Now we have off cambered single track, really nice, there's a couple little steep roll-ins here as well, 
a brilliant brilliant section and then it finishes meeting the road on a really really nice mellow descent you can freewheel the whole thing or if you're feeling energetic you can stick a few cranks in and really pick up some speed really nice section and uh, gives you an opportunity to soak in some amazing views around you as well Now that the road has come in view, we are going to turn right and we are going to follow the road. But fear not, most people would follow the road all the way back to Rosebush. And I choose a different way. And I think it's a much, much, much better way. You'll soon see. After roughly two miles and a bit of a hill climb, you'll come to this junction on the left hand side it's the only one so you can't miss it but directly opposite there's a gate with a bridleway sign on it we are heading straight back up to the top of the point that you can see in the distance beyond the gate the reason I choose to come back up this bridleway is because I want to spend as much time off the road as humanely possible and even on the road to climb it's a hellish cycle back especially as you're near a rose bush, there's some pretty punishing climbs. So in my mind, you may as well do them off road to go back up to that point. And why cycle all the way uphill on the road to go back to your car when you can cycle all the way back up to this point in not much more time and have an epic free wheel back instead. Gotta love a bit of tech and a river. Why not chuck a river in? Had everything else. Anyway, guys, you need to try this. Seriously, there is some amazing rides in here. I gotta work out all the kinks of uh, trying my best to show it off. But I will try. Seriously, it is brilliant out here and it's so soul crushing. If I never ever see anyone else out here. And uh, we are heading for a gate just above this uh, building here and then straight up and we are back on the lane that we originally started climbing up. Sweet! As you make your way up and I'm sure you'll be hiking by then just aim for the trees that you can see in the distance they're the only ones and then follow the fence and you come back to this gate again. Yes, the weather has changed and so have my clothes and that's because either I forgot to press record on the camera or it didn't record. But this is the last section and from that gate, enjoy a very, very fast final descent. All the way back down to the road today. at the lane that we started on, turning right and then two minutes away from the car.
Well, here we are, boys and girls, in an absolute stunning location. I mean, come on. Look at it. It's lush. And, strangely enough, when it's blowing the gale, it's actually very sheltered in this spot. The mountain must take it away. But anyway, guys, that is my first epic local route. Um, as with all these routes, I'm going to put links in the description so you guys can download and have a look at the route yourself. Um, use the map, and when it gets to some of the road sections, maybe use Google Street View or something. That's kind of what I do to judge what the road sections are going to be like. But to be fair, absolutely completely fine on this. You are missing the killer bit coming back into Rosebush, and you're doing this section instead. But, um, can't recommend it enough guys and there's gonna be a lot more to come hopefully it inspires you lot to drag the bike out the shed and come give your local a go instead anyway been a pleasure been fun can't wait to show you the next one i'll see you then peace